What's going on guys, Liam here and it's time. The Kiwis are playing Toa Samoa this Saturday at 3pm. How good, I absolutely cannot wait for this one man. It is going to be goddamn awesome. I don't know what I'm more excited for, the Harkers or the game, but they're both going to be pretty awesome. Actually, story on the Harker. Every time I see it, or just before it's about to happen, or just after it's happened. I mean, back in the day, you know, um, we had, I was quite close with a group of Maldi boys, played footy with them and stuff, and one of them went back to New Zealand, and um, he ended up passing away while I was over there. Anyway... We're getting on the drink the night um, before the, his funeral and they were, the boys were going to do a harker over here in Brisbane in Australia at 6am and we're all on the drink and they're like, bro, you got to do it, man. you got to do it with us. So I'm like, bro, there's absolutely no way I'll be disrespecting your whole culture. I would do such a bad job. The bro will be turning in his grave. What the hell's Liam trying to do this for, man? And every time I watch it, I'm like, bro, I could not do that. <laughs> I could not do that. Oh, it's too good. I absolutely love it, man. So, we'll go through the team list, guys. We'll go over who we think is going to win, how they're going to win, try scorers, overs, unders, all that good stuff, guys. Try and make this pretty quick for you. Um, but, yeah, it's uh, pretty, pretty damn exciting. Now... We'll go through the team list first. So I'm actually really excited for this one. We'll have a look at the Kiwi team first. C N Z. Um Chance Nickel Cool start. I can't wait. I'm really glad they picked him at fullback over Joey Manu. At at the international game, I'm a big fan of picking players that play their positions at club level. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't like this playing players out of position. I mean, Joey Manu's a freak. He's one of my favourite players. And I get the theory, like, get him more ball, get him more touches, do all the do all that. But I don't know. I just I just love, like, Nickel Coolstad had killed it all year in that position. Joey Manu killed it in centre. Just leave it, bro. So I uh, shout out to Michael Maguire for that call. I think it was really smart. Um, you can chop and change a little bit if you want, sort of thing at some point. But you know, like I, I genuinely really like that. I, I don't get the whole. Uh, there's a big thing going around, especially in the NRL and rep teams, especially just get your best 13 on the park and find positions for them. I don't like it, man. I love specialty. I love people that this is their position and they they. They practice it every damn week They in training and they practice it on the field as well. Don't care how good you are, it's very hard to just step into a new position, especially at a very high level like this and do it at a super high level. I know we've seen Joey Manu do it, but we've seen it, you know, it not work way more times than it does sort of thing. So I, I love that huge call, but the right one, I believe. Mulatalo, Tomoko, Joey Manu, Osako, Dylan Brown, Jer Jerome Hughes. That's your back seven? Whew, that's elite from the Kiwis. God damn. And then it uh, somehow gets better. <laughs> Fisher Harris, Brown, Leota, Papali, Nakura, Tarpany. Wow, that is ridiculous. Talk about a powerhouse, man. This is a crazy team. To be honest, the only way I see it better is if Jerry Marshall King drops into the nine here. Um, I think he's still got a shoulder issue from memory, but Jesus Christ, this is some strike here, man. There's a lot of power, a lot of craft. I mean, you've got the two best defensive props in the game. They're going to be able to limit these guys' meters if they play half as good as they do at Penrith. You've got Papali'i, great edge runner. Nakora, I've been saying he's the best edge uh, line running edge back row in the game. And then Tarpany, I actually don't mind him at lock. Um... Let's try and find some negatives. Maybe lacking ball playing in the forwards. Uh, there's not much ball playing here at all. Um, that's about it. I mean, Tarpany's... Well, he's a prop. You know, he's fit playing in the in the lock position. Um, he's got an offload, but no real ball playing. No Isaiah ball playing or anything like that. But it's so good. Such a good team. And then their bench, they're going with Kieran Foran. Shout out to Kieran Foran too for making the team. I genuinely think he was one of the best buyers of the year last year. He didn't get a shout in, but he absolutely unlocked David Fafida last year. Or this year, sorry. And um, 
doing it on one leg on 350k a year, turned up week in, week out, defense was awesome, shout out to Kieran Foran, absolute freak, still doing his thing, and then um, Big Nelson, I always forget names of Kiwi, and Leo Thompson, so I guess on the bench, the only sort of thing you'd say maybe is there's no outside back to cover, you know, they've got a half to cover there, but um, Nakora is pretty salt, um, Nakora could jump in the centres, absolutely no dramas. Um, and then, you know, like Joey Manu or Tomoko could jump on the wings as well. So you could just slide a player out sort of thing like that. So pretty well covered as well, man. So this Kiwi team is a problem, an absolute problem. Really keen to see how Dill Bags goes as well. Um, Samoan team, same as last week, other than uh, Tonomapia comes out and Seve comes in. Not a bad replacement at all. Um, and we've seen this team um, top to bottom pretty much. Um, yeah, just on... Now, we've seen them play last week, so we'll, we'll talk about it. Crichton and Arcee. I actually thought Arcee was all right. He nearly messed up a couple times. He did kick the ball pretty close to being out on the full a couple times. It's just, like I mentioned before, about having... Sp like, they're both not special to... Like, I know Dijon played a bit of seven and six for Parramatta this year, but apparently a cup, he was playing centre, he was playing wing, he's playing fullback, he's playing all over the place, so... He hasn't really locked in an NRL position in a, in a in a halves role either. And Stephen Crichton um, obviously isn't a six. I actually thought he looked okay, but he just was that he looked okay sort of thing. Um, and yeah, it's, uh, the, but yeah, the back five still great. Far Longo, man, I was so disappointed when that try got taken off him. Absolute freak. And um, yeah, it's all. It's, we got. Well, I can't wait for this clash. Stefano versus Fisher Harris. Moses Leota versus Paulo. Come on, man. Palacia locking the scrum. Um, yeah, Luciano. I just thought Luciano was pretty damn solid as well. And our sports Pensolino came on and brought some real good energy as well. Love to see Luki get some... Um, to I saw this last... How, does the how did they make Terrell May look so small? Like, look at his shoulders compared to Spencer. Bro, bro he's just... He like, must be standing on an angle or something. No, that's... um, Jesus. Didn't do him any... I mean, look at it. Look how wide Royce Hunt is. Jeez, look at these players on the bench, man. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, look, the price is crazy. Um, I think Samoa's paying six bucks. I genuinely think Samoa have a much better chance than the bookies are giving them credit for. Um, just because we all remember, we all saw the World Cup game, the World Cup last year. Samoa highly touted, got beaten handily by England, and everyone wrote them off. Next minute, they're in the finals with Australia. I genuinely think they need hitouts. I, none of these guys have played together a whole heap. I guess the advantage with Australia is, even though Australia doesn't play a whole heap of tests, well, they play essentially the same amount as all these guys, a lot of combinations are formed at Origin as well. Like These guys are all playing, the Australian teams, they're all playing rep footy together since they're 15. You know what I mean? Whether it's So there's combinations all over the park. Even though the team isn't fully gelled, you know, you've got your... I know Cleary didn't play this time. You have your Isaiah Yo and your Cleary. You got, you know what I'm saying? You've got all these, you got the, all these um, sort of little combinations across the park, whereas Samoa, like, they genuinely... And the Kiwis, they genuinely only get together once or twice a year if they're lucky sort of thing. So, um, and as adults as well, like, you know, I don't think there's any sort of, I might be wrong, but it, no juniors, well, I'm sure there'll be some junior stuff, but definitely not as much as New South Wales as Queensland. Their pathway systems are crazy. So um, I, I'm expecting Samoa to be better than they were against Australia. I really am. And I, I actually really like the price. Uh, what were they paying? Paying um, paying six fifty. That's That's pretty outrageous for me. That's, that's absolutely crazy. Um, but yeah, I, I think they're going to be better. And the good thing is they are playing the Kiwis who haven't played a game yet. Like we, Even Australia, like the first 20 minutes, they looked elite, they looked crazy. I'm sitting there going, damn, they scored 22 points in 15 minutes. This is going to be 80 nil. And then the passes started hitting the deck a little bit. Guys like Payne Haas are making errors. Bro never makes errors. Um, and it just wasn't quite as slick as usual, you know. And then they came good again and then they looked a little... So, you know, the Kiwis could suffer from that a little bit. Um, sort of thing. It's your first proper hit out. Uh, but yeah, man, this is it's going to be good. So I actually, if you're a Samoan fan, I, I I wouldn't be writing them off at all. I actually really like this price at $6. I, I think they can do it. I wouldn't be crazy shocked if they did win, but I would be pretty surprised as well. Like the, This Kiwi team is 
ridiculous. Like, this is a ridiculous Kiwi team. And I can't wait for this one, man. Absolutely cannot wait. So head to head, guys. I've got to go to the Kiwis. I think they get it done. Um, I'm just, yeah, oh, so even these sender battles, absolutely crazy. Now, for my punts, guys, I'm going, I haven't put this down yet or anything, but I'm staying away from the head to heads, obviously. Even staying away from the line, just because I genuinely think New Zealand could win this by 40. I think if Saar could win, that would probably be a close one. Um, it, so I could definitely just keep it under three tries and 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 ruin that line as well. So um, it's a tough one. If you are Samoan fan though, I, I don't mind that line, sixteen and a half sort of thing. Um, but what I'm putting together, guys, I'm going unders in points, under 46 points. I'm going Tor to and Asako to score two or more tries. Um, the reason I'm doing that is, um, well, we've seen Asako's just been a try scoring machine. Um, where is he? Yeah, leading the NRL and try scorers. When I'm doing two or more tries between two players, I like to be able to. Um, I want to be at least confident that one of the players could score a double. And I, I was actually pretty successful with A and B try scorers this year in the NRL, even though it was a new thing. Sucked at it at the start, but I sort of got a few wins towards the end of the year. And it was sort of like, can Osaka get two tries this game? Yep. Could Tot all get two tries in this game? Yep. So obviously putting them together for two or more tries, just say Tor's off and they're just not going down his side, at least there's still a chance that Sarko can get two tries there. Um, but yeah, it's it's just, I don't know, it's not hedging, but it's just sort of, yeah, you don't want don't to wanna be putting someone in that only. You know, these guys both score a lot of doubles, put it that way. These guys both score a lot of doubles. Um, and then also going under. So so that comes to 550, guys. I actually don't mind that price at all. Um, I'll probably put a grand down on that, so pay out five and a half. But even if even if you're a smaller punter, just even putting like 20 bucks on this, get you 110 back. It's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. If you want to chuck a pineapple on it, 275 back. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Um, but yeah, I think unders is just... There's a very good chance this could go overs, but I'm just, I'm just, I'm, ho I'm hoping there's a bit of a feeling out process at the start, and it's just not attack, attack, attack from both teams straight away off the bat. And then also, I'm just hoping that there's a bit of clunkiness in the Kiwis being their first game. Um, just maybe a few passes don't, you know, just hit the deck. You know, it's a few plays aren't quite as slick as they should have been. You know, um, I'm just that. That's sort of why I've gone unders there. It's it's not so much that I think it's going to be a super slow, uh, low scoring game. There's strike all across the park in both these teams. It's just I'm all banking on just a little bit of clunkiness from the Kiwis. Um, Samoa's attack didn't look super potent. It looked good, but not super potent. So I think 46 is pretty comfortable. Um, like it's. It, yeah, I think we could be all right there. Yeah, I think we could be all right. I think we should be okay there. Um, but yeah, it's 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 a tough one. Overs and unders is, yeah, it's crazy. But yeah, we got the overs in the Aussie game. I definitely thought that was going overs. And um, yeah, like we said, there, sometimes as well with, in international games, sometimes a few tries do flow early and you're like, uh-oh, this is going overs. But then, you know, like when the game gets a little, because the game means so much. When the game gets down a little bit of crunch time, 20 minutes to go, you know, like we even saw it a bit with the Kiwi, uh, with the Aussie um, Samoa game. Both teams, you know, defense tightens up a little bit. The, the the offensive team doesn't quite attack from, you know, crazy spots like they were a little bit earlier in the game. That it's more kicking for position, you know, stuff like that. So even if this does get out to a little early start, I'm pretty confident at some point in time that. Either the team ahead, whatever team's leading, might go for the throat more. Just play to, play for field position. You know, kick to corners, do all the boring stuff, and let's hope that goddamn happens. Let's hope. All right, I think that's it, lads. We'll have a quick look. There was a few stats here I wanted to have a quick look at as well. Um, yeah, that was a crazy game for far long ago. 176 running beaters, a line break, and 11 tackle breaks. Damn, that was crazy. Uh, Kiwis have, have four, uh, four, a 4-0 four record against Samoa with a combined scoreline of 144-50. to 50. Wow, I didn't know that. Jermaine Asako topped the annual try scorers. We know that. 
and uh, that's a stupid stat, so who cares? But yeah, man, it's um, I'm excited for this one, and then the Aussies versus the Kiwis next week. Where is that game? Let's try and find out quickly. Where's the Aussies playing the Kiwis? Um, week three, Aussies Kiwis. Where is it? Amy Park in Melbourne. Come on, man. Why can't we play Brizzy? I want to get to that. Damn, that's uh, that sucks. <laughs> Aussies played in Townsville where about four thousand people showed up. Now they're playing in Melbourne where oh, they'll get an okay crowd in Melbourne, but it won't be nuts. It won't be nuts, man. That's uh. That sucks. That absolutely sucks. Anyway, that's it, guys. Nice and short. We've only got one game. Um, we will go live before this one on TikTok, guys. We'll watch a harker together and, um, yeah, get into it. Hopefully hit some punts. It's, it's been, I'm not going to lie, man. As much as I love punting and talking talking trash about footy, it's been nice not having to live it like you know, <laughs> eight games a week. You know, it's, it's pretty cool just having the one a week, man. It's good. Good fun. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.